Hello there. Um, it's a beautiful morning and I wanted to make a quickie video on the topic detachment and what it means to me. Um, I try not to reference books or any sort of media before I make recordings because I'd rather just kind of access what's already in my head to formulate something that makes sense. You know, because I feel like when you, um, when you, and I'm not trying to say don't, like, explore other people's opinions on a subject, because they might actually help you to enhance what's already in here, but at the same time, like, I think it kind of distorts and influences what's already in your mind, where you're at currently. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. But anyhow, let's get on it. So, what does detachment mean to me? Detachment doesn't mean, like, not caring or numbing yourself to the things around you. It's about being very receptive and very sensitive to everything around you and inside of you, but from a detached place and when I mean detached I mean like um, you don't have any expectations attached to anything um, like you, you don't expect anything to be a certain way um, including yourself and you kind of allow things to come into your experience graciously and then you allow things to exit your experience graciously with no attachment and anytime anything is um well anything anytime anything enters your experience in the present moment you're fully present aware and mindful of what's going on however it's perceived good or bad, right or wrong. There is no good or bad. There is no right or wrong. They're basically the same thing on opposing um, extremes with different variations and degrees in between. Does that make sense? Yeah, so detachment to me is being um, radically present, aware, sensitive, um, receptive in every moment without attaching any expectations to anything. So, like, um, you know, if somebody enters your life, you enjoy them while they're there. And when they leave, you enjoy them when they leave. You know, because everything is so temporary and transient, you know, um, whenever you attach yourself to anything or anyone, um, you kind of bind yourself to that thing or person. You know what I mean? You create an energetic cord that keeps you kind of bound. It's kind of like a rock and a balloon. You're the balloon, right? Well, not really. You don't want to fly away. Um, this could be a really bad analogy, but basically what I'm trying to say is... Um, oh, here. This is a better analogy. Okay, so think about a tree, right? A tree. And the tree is constantly growing new leaves, new blossoms, new fruit. But um, as time goes on, you know, it loses leaves. Um, the fruits drop. The fruits rot. You know, but the tree doesn't, like, go against this natural cycle. It just kind of allows it to happen graciously. And if you look at trees, they're, they are like the best teachers, really. You know, like a lot of them, they, they stand firm and planted in the ground. And they usually have a really deep and strong root system that helps them to thrive. And, you know, if you look at the top part of the tree, it's constantly changing and transitioning and transforming. But it has no attachment to anything. So if a new leaf comes up, you know, it allows it to happen. When the leaf is ready to fall, it lets that happen as well. 
and it just keeps on growing and thriving and rising. I don't know if that was a good analogy, but it's better than the balloon and the rock. <laughs> yeah, so detachment is, I feel like it, it has like a grace to it where you just kind of allow things and people to come into your life graciously, gracefully, gratefully. And then when they leave and the season is done, you graciously release them. You know, you're not attached, you're not depressed, you're not, um, you know, full of anxiety and worry, trying to keep, keep things together. You know, because you know that when things come, it's meant to come. And when it's, when it goes, it's meant to go. I don't know if that was understandable, but that is my little ditty on detachment. And like I said, it has like a hint of grace in it. You know, <clears throat> you're not trying to force, you're not trying to like, control you're not trying to attach expectations you know and I think we do that a lot like relationships is number one like you have these expectations to find someone and to to make it into something that it could or could not be and you expect it to last for a extended period of time and all these expectations create attachments. And the attachments um, have suffering tied to it. You know what I mean? So if you kind of let go of all of these expectations and attachments, you know, you're just kind of like a tree releasing leaves, you know? Anyhow, um, hey man, if you learned something great, if you didn't learn anything, that's great too. Tomato, tomato. I hope you're having a beautiful day and blessings to one and all. Amen.